Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. I was thinking of today doing a card of the day, and I was also thinking of doing a week overview. And my resources are extremely limited right now. We're dealing with some ongoing minor emergencies like the weather and inability to sleep so I, I'm finding myself wanting to have done a week overview to include the full moon and the mercury retrograde and it's already later in the evening on the day of the full moon now and my other option was to do uh, was to do the week reading live but I wanted to, I, I like doing those on my table and I'd have to do it at my desk and I don't want it to skip. Um, and I just, I don't feel like having the extra energy drain of being live. Um, and then I was like, well, I only really have energy to do one reading. So instead of doing the week or the, the card of the day, what I'm doing right now is an energy report that's only going to be for the full moon and the Mercury retrograde and essentially the 29th which is sandwiched between them. So I'm doing a triptych door reading for that. I'm using the Blessed Bee deck by Lucy Cavendish and I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot, and I have modified mine. It's customized. So, I mean, they're normally blue and white. Mine's jacked right now. So, um, I've cleared and shuffled these cards, and I'm going to get two of the Morgan Greer, and one of the Blessed Bee cards. As the two cards on the are smaller represent the forces of opposites the polarity and the bigger card in the middle represents the union or the portal or the gateway Okay, so I'm going to get one of these Lucy Cavendish cards. If you can hear the wind, that's what that is. It's rattling the sa the window sashes, and I can kind of feel it blowing through. It's supposed to be like negative all the wind chill. All right. <clears throat> So essentially what these days these cards represent too is one of the Morgan Greer cards is essentially going to be the full moon in Leo, the wolf moon tonight. The other one is going to be representing essentially Mercury going retrograde in Aquarius on the 30th. And the middle card here is essentially the, the 29th, the, the sort of limbo in between, or like the portal that's opening up because of the two forces. And we experience time linearly, so even though typically you would hit the side doors before going through the middle, it's actually opening up this thing where the future of the Mercury retrograde is after the portal in terms of the time that we experience. It's almost like the Mercury retrograde is the tractor beam that's pulling people through the portal in the interim day. All right, so let's look at the full moon here. The Nine of Wands. Okay. 
typically this is, I've been waiting around here for a long time. And now I'm finally, the cavalry's coming and I get to leave my post. The way I'm seeing it right now is like I'm doing the rounds. I'm, I'm walking my beat kind of a thing. This, and again, it's, it's a little bit of the energy of being stuck in an endless loop. Also because of the, like, a little bit of, like, this is my post. Like, uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Kevin Costner in Dances with Wolves. I'm like, what are you doing out here? And he's like, this is my post. So we have a nine here. And I said this is for the moon. Now the moon card is 18. And a nine card can either be a half dream or a half nightmare. Here it's more of a nightmare card. It's sort of like, why do I keep having this dream over and over and over again? And it, and it becomes this thing where it's like the dream doesn't shift unless you become somewhat aware of it and sort of force yourself into a lucidity with it where it's like, I know this has happened before. Like, I'm going to look at my hands and make sure I'm sleeping or I'm going to refuse this reality and substitute what I want in this dream. I'm going to edit this movie as it's playing out. Let me look at the energies. Oh, of course, it's the moon in Sagittarius. How about that? So the moon energy showing up right away. Now, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Sagittarius currently south node, having to do with part of the Earth encompassing energies that have to do with popping it through a new world. Now, I noticed on so, some card that I saw scrolling on Facebook or whatever, there was the wreath from the world card. And the way it was drawn, it looked like a toilet seat. And it's just like, it's sort of like, there's some things that you can just flush goodbye, like flush it goodbye, get rid of it. Like do it, just flush it a second time if it's a floater. I know that's gross, but that's just the kind of like portal energy. It's like you're, 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 you don't give up. This guy, he's like, I got the plunger. Let's do this. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just heard the word turd burglar. That's terrible. <sighs> I don't even know what that means. That's really funny. Okay. Um, but it's this idea of like come hell or high water. Something old is being eliminated. Okay, so let's look at the um, the Mercury retrograde in Aquarius on the 30th. This is the energy that's like the suction, the tractor beam. It's the five of wands. Interesting. This is like blue and yellow situation here. This also has red on it too, very primary colors. This is like a band of thieves, like they're all burglars. Everyone's fighting over the last plunger at the Home Depot there. <clears throat> Saturn in Leo. Saturn is also an Aquarius, as is Jupiter. The way that I see this, I'm sure I'm holding this, the way that I see it, this guy is walking away from the thing. It's like a dog pile 
like like in football or something and like in those movies they have like all these guys tackle like the same guy and they're busy punching each other and beating the shit out of each other and meanwhile the guy they're trying to get just sort of is like screw you guys and like sneaks off and nobody notices because they're they're too busy being in the middle of the brawl it's it's, it's sort of like like screw you guys I'm going him In that way, the energy that's coming through with this five of wands is like the 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 beam that's pulling is is saying it's like you can see it the where on the outside of the combat it's looking in it's not like we're not even facing the other guy it's just this sort of mass of hands and it's looking a lot like the pricker bushes around the sleeping beauty castle there it's all just a, a mess and it's like the the retrograde of the mercury retrograde it's not necessarily like It's not like, you know what he said about your mother? And and they're like, how dare you? And like, and then everybody starts fighting. And it's not even confusion. It's, it's like a perspective shift. It's like, when you look back on all of this kind of communication, where it's tit for tat, eye for an eye, you know, I shall retaliate for my ego has been singed. Um, it doesn't really accomplish anything. It stays at that, like, running around in circles, where the endless loop sort of closes in until you're biting your own tail. And the energy that's coming from the Mercury retrograde in Aquarius is... Is, is like dragging somebody out of the fight like if they weren't already leaving on their own this is like I'm ready I'm okay to go and this is like fuck that noise I'm also seeing this blue it's a, sort of a I mean it's blue here like it's blue but if I imagine it's blue green I can say oh it's the planet Uranus right Neptune and Uranus, the twins. Because I'd reassign this Neptunian energy, so it doesn't really matter. It's still the subconscious. But Aquarian energy, right? If it's Uranus, Uranus is in Taurus, the bull, which can be pretty like, um, but Mars is sitting in Taurus with Uranus right now. So I'm seeing this sort of blue imaginary green twins here I have I'm dealing with subconscious reactive energy and overall the consciousness of shifting five out of the conscious energy of must win at all costs nine and five breaks down to four it combines to 14 which is balance which is temperance which is what the energies are trying to do it's uh tempering aggressive ego by being like what the hell am i even doing in this same situation again okay. so the card that's in the middle is a blessing on your wisdom and it's inverted so let me flip her over. So the number 36, which breaks back down to nine. And I know it's hard to see on here. This and this character here is basically the high priestess. Which for me is Neptunian energy, but she could also be the moon. Like what's so 
deep in the subconscious? What's your deepest fear? What's your deepest secret? What's the deepest wound of the inner child? What's your bloodiest scar from your past life? What is the, what is, it's sort of like, what is, what are the perspectives? What is justice? And then after that, what is wisdom? Because the high priestess is the feminine energy that is the same as the magician, which is like a, it's the wizened elder spiritual entity but it's coming in feminine energy which means it's like i have learned to create growth from within the magician is more like i have learned to assemble growth from without and bring it to me the high priestess is magic is is like i have learned to create the life from within and bring it forth and usually the high priestess is in the energy of the crone where it's like might not be at a point of life bearing anymore but whether or not there's still like uh you could still produce offspring it's the crone energy is at a point where i have also come to understand the withering of things it's the like all things must pass george harrison kind of energy and in that mode he would be the magician it's inverted and i think some of that is because of the mercury retrograde but it's also giving me this energy of a little bit of the hanged man. Because I can see the number 12 in the 36. Where it's sort of like I'm waiting for something to happen. Right? I'm waiting for something to happen. And then all of a sudden it's like... I'm being sucked by the seat of my pants up into this UFO and what is the UFO, but it's this portal in, in between. And, and it's also this inversion because it's, there's this idea of looking back, but also sometimes it, something inverted is an internal thing, right? I'm not doing it out in the world. I'm looking into the mirror at myself into this sort of backwards world. And, and it can also be delay or confusion. But what is in, like, what is internal wisdom? It's essentially subconscious, higher consciousness. So again, this very, like, Neptunian, Uranian energy. And she's wearing this dark, dark blue collar which is essentially like the more you saturate the Neptune and Uranian energy, like the, the denser the color gets, but it's also this idea of darkness because I've descended into where death exists as well and come out on the other side. I understand collapsing and restructure and then rebuilding from within. And I think that's why there's a feminine energy here because the masculine energy is is again it's it's establishing the structural framework. And we see that on the in these two cards, masculine energy. And it's like within, within the framework that's being reformed, 
there's an inner re reconstituting on a mental level. And when this goes upright is when it comes out. But I think in there's it's like an incubation period during the retrograde. And she might not be upright until like mid-March. Right? It's like you have to ruminate on the wisdom before it's allowed to express itself, right? It's like I st I'm still downloading. I'm still torrenting this information. It hasn't, I have to, um, I have to unzip it and save the files and stuff. So once it's on, once the Mercury retrograde is over and the files unzip, then she's upright. Okay. Let's take a look at the bottoms of the decks. So a blessing on a journey, same thing, inverted, but look at the moon there. Fucking full moon, right? Number 22, inverted. So it's the journey to the center of the earth here because it's inverted. The moon within is essentially hermit energy, but it's 22, which is twice 11, universal timing. Right? So the clock is ticking, but it hasn't chimed just yet. There's a countdown during the retrograde. So what's under here is the magician inverted, which is the same as this, right? All things must pass. The external fabric is being restructured while the internal mechanism is also being restructured. Okay. So that's that's how it do for the next couple of days. If you want to get a personal reading, you can hit me up. The complete list of readings and how much they cost is going to be in the description box below this video. Or you can email me. My email right there, the cat came back at camp at gmail.com is through my link tree. That's linktr.ee slash cat the minion. I know it's hard to read this sign as I'm holding it up, but... All of that, all of these links to merch and prints and coloring books and actual art items, they're all through the link tree. If you go through the, the link here to Etsy, it'll pop in the coupon there. Three or more items, 17% off. If you want to help keep my channel running, you can donate PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, or you can get any of the fine products that I'm offering. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, check out my playlists tab, my discussion tab, and stay groovy, and we'll see you later. Bye.